All right, guys, so now it's about time we check out what Marwan and Anna are up to as they are joined right now by our careers advisor from Bait.com, Peggy Trabulsi Shamoon. And make sure you get your pens and papers ready as the top jobs of the week are going to go scroll down at the bottom of the screen throughout the interview. Thanks, Lubna. That's right, guys. Now, don't forget, throughout the interview with Peggy, we're going to have all the top jobs scrolling at the bottom of your screen, so make sure you have your pens and paper ready to take down those reference numbers. And now, Peggy is going to give us tips on how to promote ourselves at work, aren't you, Peg? Yes. Hi. How, how are you are doing? You? Looking Welcome lovely back. as ever. Thank you so much. Okay, so why is it, let, let's start off with the basics, right? Sure. Why is it so important to promote ourselves at work? I mean, surely they should just recognize the work that you're doing and reward you accordingly, right? Or wrong? So it's not rocket science. Everyone needs to promote him or herself at work in order to make sure that he or she, you know, is rewarded for, mm -hmm. you know, the top-notch deliverables that have been met, the devotion, the time, the effort, the commitment everything that has been done. The most important thing is, you know, to make sure that not always promotions or raise happen magically. Okay, so you should make it happen. One should learn to blast his own or her own horn. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and to make sure, to make himself or her or one should herself. Learn, <laughs> wait, one should learn how to do it or learn learn how to do it right. Now, <laughs> there are different ways how you can do it and this is very subjective. So there isn't a golden rule as to how you should do it. It's mm -hmm. very it's very much relative to your personality. Okay. And there are various ways of how you can do it. So let's talk about Okay, this. so maybe let's let's try enacting a scenario where you're tooting your own horn seeing as you're so good at it or one you go right ahead. You want me to go ahead? Yeah, and I'll be your colleague who's just has to listen to you. All right. So, Anna, listen. So did you hear about that project that we were all given to do in two weeks? Mm -hmm. Well, I finished it in one week, and I gave it to the boss already, and he is super impressed with the fact that I finished it on time, and he loved it as well, and he said that I'm possibly one of his favorite employees. What do you think about that, Peggy? Okay, so <laughs> this is, again, very personal, and many people would use, you know, the bragging style of promoting. Mm -hmm. You can still be very loud about you know what you do and how you do it and make people talk about you without necessarily bragging and using the bragging style. So you can be nice to people, you can always compliment people, your colleagues, your boss, but don't wait for a reason to do it. You can mm -hmm. do it consistently and constantly and without necessarily you know showing off. You can still be loud. You can still be talk. You can still talk about your accomplishment very loudly, mm -hmm. but do it in style. So what we mean by that is showing the effect as to what you have done, mm -hmm. how this is actually to, to the benefit of the company, okay, and to the betterment of the company. Mm -hmm. so okay. Now, obviously, he's got the bragging art down to a T. Mm -hmm. Now, what if let's say like someone is more modest? You know, they're just sure. they're not really out there, but at the same time, they want to promote themselves. Um, in a different way. What are the pros and cons of being more, having a more modest approach? Okay, so this is more of a modesty, integrity style where people could be a little bit more shy. Mm -hmm. You can still promote yourself very successfully in that way, okay? But there are various ways how you should do it. And it actually grows on you throughout, you know, your experience. Mm -hmm. First of all, make yourself heard by attending meetings, organizational uh, meetings, answering questions, asking clever questions, giving positive insights to people. So use this charisma of yours and let people reach out to you and understand that you exist and that you are a very star, talented employee in that mm. company. All okay. right. Then what something else you can do is network outside your current department. So, you know, news, you know, fly very fast. Right. So when you go and you network outside your department, people will actually know about you and will start talking about you, about your accomplishments. So they will do the, the work for you, right? If you are not someone who likes, right. you know, talking about it. So they'll, it's sort of almost viral, right? They'll it's start viral. talking about you and it's, everyone in the company viral. gets to hear So about use your you. environment, you yeah. know, in a clever way to do it if you are not somebody who's comfortable doing that. Okay. And, you know, don't forget that skills are important so technical skills are very important but it's also important to get close to people and to make people reach out to you when they need you so if you feel you have talent outside mm -hmm. you know your scope of work and so if, if you hear for instance your uh, CEO's PA redecorating his office because he needs to do some changes. And if you're an ace interior decorator on the inside, then jump in, volunteer, right? right? Exactly, and just like give that. your own kind, kind of like what I did with the set over I here. I know, you know, that's true. I was, <laughs> I was painting all these walls and everything as soon as they told me we're, do we're doing this set. See? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> well, Peggy, thanks so much again. As always, it's such a wealth of information. It's always a pleasure having you on the show with Thank us. Thank you, guys. Thanks.